Hi, I'm Yu Xiu. I'm from University of Birmingham. My partner Julian Key worked with me for this research. Emma is a VC leader. So the research here is about the parameterization of cone cell and pot cell to validate PDD models for lithium and battery. In industry, there are different types of cells, like the cone and pouch. So there are the scientific questions. For the same components, does the cone cell and pot cell show the same or similar electrochemical kinetic parameters? If so, can the parameters from the cone cell could predict the pot cell in better modeling? If the answer is yes, there are two um, benefits. The first one is we could predict pot cell electroparamounts by modeling the parameter from cone cell. And in this way, we can save the costs on better um, materials, better fabrication, and better tests. Here's what we do on the experimental parameterization. We design different types of cells, like half cone, four cone, three electro cone, four pouch, three electro pouch, cells on three mfair per centimeter squares uh, electrodes. The parameters will, will, will cover physical, chemical, electrochemical parameters. Um, so this slide just gives you an overview uh, to understand what we were doing on this research. The first part is about the battery tests. Um, so we have the validation, um, they are the wearable and charge, wearable digital charge tests, and we have also have the GITT and ES tests. Apart from this, we also have the electrode calibration. By having the battery test and the calibration, we got the certified physical, chemical, and the electrochemical parameters. After this, we put these parameters into the PDD models and the software. For this part, we work with our partner in the University of Warwick. They are working on this. Then we compare the water profiles in the experimental tests and the sim simulation uh, to opti optimize the P2D model. Uh, these tables uh, summarize the parameters uh, what we were doing on the modeling. Um, so the first part is about the electrodes. Um, so uh, like the uh, thickness, particle size, and the conductivity. And then we have the parameters in electrolytes. Like the uh, lithium ion concentration conductivity, lithium ion um, transfer number, lithium ion diffusion coefficient. And then we have the uh, parameters in separate, like the thickness and porosity. And for the electrochemical part, we can have the OCV and diffusion coefficient from the GITD tests. By performing ES tests, we could have the um, RCT reaction rate and the exchange current density. Those well, uh, parameters are very available for the PDD modeling. After understanding uh, about the tables, um, we have designed um, four types of the cells. So this is figure shows the configuration for the cone cell. And uh, this one shows um, um, the party cell jig. Um, the type of uh, party cells were compressed between the two uh, blood blocks to uh, decrease the contact resistance. As few shows um, the three uh, electric yield cell, uh, this one is for the three electric pot cells. And this table shows the uh, energy uh, area for the electrode. Then uh, we need to um, consider the uh, protocols for tests. Before the test, um, each cells need to have the four steps. The, here are the details, the CCCV um, at CO20 and until the cutoff um, current is equal to CO50 and rest 30 minutes, and then discharge at CO20 to 2.5 voltage and rest 30 minutes. For the four steps, we have two cycles and at, at um, 25 cell degree. For the variable charge, we keep the uh, charge rate vary from C over 10 to 10C. And uh, 
the digital rate keeps constant at CO5. Uh, for the variable discharge, we keep the charge rates constant at CO5, and the discharge rates vary from CO10 to CNC. For the GITD part, we have different C rates, um, like CO10, CO5, CO2, 1 and 1C, to get the diffusion coefficient uh, in different C rates. For the ES parts, um, we have conducted the experiment at different temperature and different SOC to get the exchange current density and the activation energy. So this slide shows some parts of the validation tests. Um, due to the limited time, I just give you an example on variable digital um, tests. So this figure shows uh, the water profile for corn and this one for pouch. We compare these uh, two figures. We can see um, the water profiles are very similar for these two types of cell. And this sugar sh shows uh, the capacity um, and profiles with the increase rate. To help you understand the devi deviation and, and with the increase rate, I give these two figures. So from this Two figures we can see there are large, uh, much um, deviation um, at the higher C rates. So from these figures we can see there is a good correlation of discharge capacity in cone and pulse cell. And it's worth also noting that increasing C rates increase the standard deviation among cells. Maybe this is due to um, the mass loading deviation on the electrode. So this set shows the GITD test. Uh, for this part, we are aiming to get the voltage was capacity profile, the OCV, DQ by DV, history diseases, diffusion coefficient, exchange current density, and RCT. This figure shows the typical um, charge profiles at the CO10. So in each pulse, we charge five minutes and rest three hours. Uh, this uh, this um, three fi figure shows uh, the voltage profiles for the half cathode, half anode, and full cone. And from these uh, figures, uh, we can also get the OCV profiles and the DQ by DV uh, heterodesis. Um, next part, the diffusion coefficient by using this uh, centigrade equation in metal level code, we get the diffusion coefficient. Um, for the half cathode and half anode. So from these figures, we can see the diffusion coefficient in a half cathode is higher than uh, that in half anode. And the third is the ES test. The tests were performed with the um, C rates, C over 10, at the different SOC and different um, temperature. Uh, these two figures show um, the ES profile at different temperature for half a cathode and half an anode. And by using the um, current circuits uh, in the review software, we have the uh, RCT and the exchange current density. Then we have the Ernest plot. Um, by using the um, slope of this plot, we get the activity energy for the half cathode and half anode. So here is the conclusions. And um, by performing uh, the validation, um, GITT and the ES tests and the electrode calibration, we got uh, 35 um, parameters and established the parameter database for cone and pot cells. And the result shows um, there is a good correlation between for cone and pot cell, uh, root behavior and the capacity. And however, there are little difference uh, in OCV after digital rates, uh, especially in healthy rates. Maybe this is due to uh, the mass loading uh, uh, deviation on the electrode. Um, we have finished the paper draft. Hope we could um, provide the par parameters um, database for p modeling. Uh, if you have any suggestions or questions uh, on this research, 
Uh, please let us know on these channels. Um, thank you for your listening.